Hi. Hi. Chat. Hi. Hi, chat. Hi, chat. Hello, chat. Hello, chat. Hi, chat. Dr. Mundy is here. Although Looney Tunes were no stranger to Jim Crow caricature... Oh, well, that's me coming in halfway through a conversation. But you're absolutely right. Looney Tunes definitely did some real... Oh, not good stuff. That's rough. Aged badly, to say the... I mean, I mean, the phrase aged badly doesn't really cover it, does it? With actual racist caricatures. But, you know... Can't be undone, can it? Um... Do you know, they released a load of box sets of old Looney Tunes, um, like DVD box sets of really odd cartoons, and they said, "Hello, Steven Steven's Hello, Goats." Peter, how are you? I'm very glad you are streaming today. I'm very. She's every time she says "im." Thank you, Steven Goats, for that donation. He's always straight in, Steven Goats. It's very kind. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, uh, Warner released some old Looney Tunes box sets and there was like this little sort of disclaimery thing at the start or like an acknowledgement saying, hey, these some of these cartoons are really like kind of racist and sexist and horrible and uh, or not kid friendly. Um, but to remove them from our box set, our complete box set would be to pretend that, that they never happened. So we're leaving them in to show that this is what attitudes used to be like. It was terrible that that's how things were, but, you know, I guess that's maybe the best course of action when you're going through your back catalogue for to ready for, to do a big bumper re-release and then you go, whoops, these things have happened. Yeah, it is that whole thing of, um, you know, do you pretend it didn't happen or what? Uh, sweet. So... Uh, that's Dr. Mundy. Stephen Scourge is here in period 7. Dead Eye Duck. Louis J. Weber. Trowling Badger. Carrie the Worst. Uh, uh, quite Insane. Uh, sprout Stuff. Uh, and then we got a subscription from Steadmen6413. Thank you very much. And Sim Zeppelin as well. Bam. Uh, who said, Hello, PT. Hello, Hello, PT, which I kind of started reading in a French accent because that's what hello makes me think of. But then it says, Dubis circles. So, yeah, I can't really roll my R's when, it, when I should. Um, oh, you're all here. Everyone's here. There's too many names for me to read. Um, at least Little Britain has an excuse. Uh, sorry, at least Looney Tunes has an excuse. Little Britain doesn't. Yeah, that's kind of true. They should have really known that what they were doing was not okay, Little Britain. Pretending stuff didn't happen is pretty dangerous in general. It's how you get terrible right-wing interpretations of things. Yeah, you're right. Our resident historian should know. Um, where's Jesus? Jesus is not... He's um, he's back in the nondescript, either sort of southwest Europe, Mediterranean area, or possibly South America, mid to South America. No one really knows. Um, oh no, Rep Sputin's got mine and Ben's cold. Currently on break at uni. Might be fresh as flu. Uh, maybe it's a bit too late for fresh as flu, but man, that's that's bad stuff. Are you okay, Pete? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good, thanks. Yeah, just you know, I like to I like to do a, a few minutes at the start of a stream, let people arrive. Bootsy ten, just subscribe. Bam. Hi, I'm Bootsy Ten, and I just subscribed for eight months. Oh boy, boring loner. Hello, Peter. I'm a forgiving guy, but Shining Force on the Mega Drive was basically my childhood. After what you said about it, I'd like you to know that I think Spyro is not as good as its reputation. Now we're even. Hey, I'll take it. It's fine. Spyro is probably not as good as its reputation. I, I I don't even know if I would argue with that. Uh. There's a massive, like, nostalgia factor to my love of Spyro. Spyro 3 is overrated, I think. I don't know. It just kind of feels like a bit of a conceited game. Um, Jesus moved to Argentina after the war to avoid prosecution. <laughs> yeah, that's where he went. Uh, fantastic. So... Um, Take that back, 
Peter, says the Tick cartoon. Hey, can't please everyone. Spyro 3 is my least favourite of the three. I'm not saying it's the worst one. Objectively, Spyro 1 is probably the worst because it's way less deep uh, or, or broad, I guess. There's less breadth and depth to it. You know, it's just platforming, really, and collectathoning. Whereas Spyro 2 and 3 have a bunch of different, you know, mechanics and things. That, so that's cool. But, uh, nah, I just, I don't know. I don't like the, some of the worlds, some of the levels. They're just kind of forgettable. Uh, Spyro 3 introduced skateboarding. How dare you? The skateboarding was good. Mostly. Mostly. Yeah. Cool. I'd, I'd say everyone's here. All the important people. All the you guys. Sprout stuff's here. Cecil Prompts is here. I think people are saying hello, Cecil. I'm assuming Cecil Prompts is here. Cecil Prompts? Oh, I can't I can't see you in the chat, but someone people are saying hello Cecil Oh there you go, yeah. Hello Cecil Prompts. Fantastic. So we got we got one mod. We've got two mods. Let me check. Not that it matters. Cecil Prompts can, can handle it. Oh not that I can't I can't see any sign okay, well. That's fine. It's it might all be on you at the moment, Cecil Prompts. Lord Brovich is not is not present. Uh, cool. Everyone's really mad about my takes on on Spyro Three. I can only apologise. Let's let's go to a different good PS One game, shall we? A different one. That'll be fun. Um, so, in theory, if I press this button, there it is. Fantastic. Uh, welcome. Welcome, one and all, to Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. There was a, some kind of wrestling stream at some point since I last was in this room, so I guess it was on the weekend. So all the levels might be different. I did a little test recording, it sounded okay, but let me know if the game is really loud or really quiet. Um, cool. How's that sound? It's a horrible noise, but what what are its sound levels like? This golden carrot can be yours for just 99 carrots a bargain. So I don't think we have done the greatest escape. Don't really like this level. Audio seems good. Thank you, everyone, for doing my job for me. Yeah. The greatest escape, ladies and gents. We're still in the 1920s, 30s. The 1920s, 30s. 1920s, I think. Oh. Bit weird. Oh, what a badass! There's the thumbnail. Mabib. Holiday today in Canada, says Robert James. What's the holiday? Get five of these objects to receive a clock symbol. Will do, Moyle. Ah! Oh god, I'm trying to I'm trying to hide behind it. Let me see if it actually works. Oh my god! Hey! I'm just trying to see if it actually is worth doing. I don't know if it is. That's what these are for, though. Oh my god, he can just... What an asshole. Anyway, just kill him, I guess. There's these weird spiders in this level that make horrible noises. Um... Canadian Thanksgiving. Oh, what are you giving thanks for? Independence? Or did did the native Native American Canadians like give you a turkey or something I, or, and some corn before you like took all their land? How <laughs> how does it work? I'm interested to know. 
For killing natives, says Robert. Oh, uh, well, that's been blocked by by the, the auto mod. <laughs> Robert James's answer did not come through. I can see it. Robert James says he's give, that's what he's giving thanks for. Um, you heard a bad word? What bad word happened? Did I say a bad word? I missed that. People are saying language in the chat. I don't even remember. What? What did, what? did I just accidentally say a really bad thing? Gabe the Giant has subscribed by Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Uh, Oh my god, you can't you can't roll into these fellas. You have to you have to do that. Stand on them. I said asshole. <laughs> when did I say that? <laughs> anyway, that's okay. That's the, that's one of the allowed words. There's only like three swear words we're not allowed to say on. Oh my god, just messing around now. I called the minion an asshole. What minion? What on earth is happening? I don't I don't know what's going on? Trolling Badger says it's a fairly low level word. I agree. But you guys probably aren't allowed to say it in chat. The shooty boy. Okay. He is, a, he is though. That's what... Look! I hate him. I can't seem to hide behind uh, plant pots or anything. Which I'm pretty sure that's like why they're in the, in the level. Anyway. Oh. My God, I'm really making a, a hash of this. I'm the asshole here. Not to mention that you're playing a violent video game right now. Oh my God, yeah. If it's one of the allowed words, prove it. Say it three times and hope that the asshole version of Beetlejuice doesn't appear. Oh my God, it's just a giant bum hole just comes out. What on earth? I have to jump right on the edge, I suppose. There we go, right. Now, oh, I did it. Got him. This is what happens when Lord Brotovich isn't here. <laughs> yeah. What's that round circle there? Is it a spider? Yes. Come on. No! Uh oh. Ah! Ah! No! Stop it! Ah! This game's hard. Oh my god, they're all threatening to fall for rules manager now. Oh, quite insane. Just blipped for my bad words. Fantastic. Thanks. Jesus. It's very unforgiving. I mean, what, I, when I say Jesus, I mean Jesus. Uh, Jesus. He's basically just Papa Lazarou, isn't he? Hello? You gonna fall? Yes. What's going on? What's, what's, what's happening in my pocket? Boys blowing up my phones. Phones. Okay. That's fine. Let me shut that up. That's okay. No one is No one is dying. Um Was there just an artifact on the screen? I don't know. There may have been. Air disc subscribed. Five months. Fantastic. I read gave the giant. Uh, we up to date? I think so. Here we are. We are! There's a bathtub here. Oh! Oh, there's some carrots behind. Uh, uh, uh. May as well just drop this, get it, get it out of the way and done with. Oh! Clang! Love this. Oh. Hello? I thought you could jump on this chair. I 
thought it was bouncy. Uh, oh, what? Why is that glowing? Can I jump in it? Oh, what? Oh, wow. Weird. Checkpoint. Whoop. So these bouncy, there's like a bouncy sofa here. And there's like a special thing. I need to learn a word, a magic word. Sorry, pal. You don't have the super jump ability. But it does a it does a bouncy. I can get that. There's probably still another one up there though. Uh okay, so that's that's all that done. I think I've got to get all the way back round now. Oh, there's an acme crate up there. Which I guess you access via this. I bet I could get those golden carrots though. Huh, huh. Yeah. Just use a tricksy little dive technique. But yeah, can't get the at me crate. That's good though. It means I needn't bother worrying. Ah! Worrying about finding the other ones because I can't can't get all five. Therefore, why bother getting the rest? Hup. I'm doing a lot of hup noises today. Hup! Don't strain yourself, everyone. Oh. Is this pushable? Yes, it is. Is it pushable up there? No. It's only pushable this way. How strange. Oh, I see. To get this. Well, maybe it remembers my progress if I get some of the boxes. So. I'll go for it. I'll still get it. Okay. Whoa! Peter, I heard you were already doing swears. That's right, Lobrovich. We don't pay you for nothing. And by that I mean we don't pay you nothing. We don't we don't pay you at all. Um, but if you're not around, I'm gonna be swearing like a sailor. Or a non sailor. EGX this week. Very exciting. We're going. Who's going to be there? Oh my god, there's a guy shooting me on the other side of the wall. Horrifying. Who's going to be at EGX? We've uh, been thinking today about like how much we're going to be covering on the show floor. And there's not like masses of games that we're like, we think of like, you know, desperately, desperately require our coverage. Uh, in terms of like whether we're interested in them or whether the audience is likely to be interested in them. Sorry, pal. You don't have the music ability. Music ability. Get what? These spiders, man. Oh. F flip this. Flip it. Oh, Robert's just going to be there. It'll be strange, like, meeting people. How do I get around, around there? Oh, I guess with the piano. It'll be strange, like, meeting people and uh, being able to put faces to names. Yeah. Never played this game before. Looks fun, though. Thank you, Robert James, for all those blips. That's a hell, hell of a lot of blips. Very kind. Seven hundred blips there. Robert James. Robert James's cheer shared rewards to thirteen others in chat. I don't know what that means, but it sounds like a good thing. I'm not going for the spiders. They don't seem to drop golden carrots or anything. Ah! There's some bricks here. Not 
Nice. We've got four out of five. I know where the other one is, but I can't get it, can I? <laughs> Robert James says, I don't know either. I just clipped a bunch of things. It just gives people special emotes. Some people get limited edition emotes when Blip rewards are shared. Oh, wow. Is there a, yes, there is a look at room button. When I say look at room, I mean look at big empty. Oh, hang on. Can I, can I maybe... Oh, no. Make a pile. There we go. Will this give me the distance I require to jump across there? No, but there is a hole. I guess I just make my way around. Uh, and there's a carrot there. A key reach. Oh, not worth it. Um, hello? Oh, yeah. Leave, spider. Hobie! Seven months. Yay. Here's to many more. Thank you very much, Hobie Lovebot. And also, Mills Derp. There it is. Here's to umpteen more. Umpteen. That's a, that's a number. Gold carrot. Delicious golden carrot. Golden carrots. Carrot and ham slabs. Mystery carrot. Oh, oh. oh nice. Great. Great. Uh, a lot of clanging going on out there. I came in like a wrecking ball. Thanks, Miley. Thanks for that. Ah! Through we go. For 24 hours, you could eat literally any carrots. It's a boss fight. Remember, this is the game that just randomly has numerous boss fights per walkthrough. I have no facts for this game. <laughs> That's okay, Robert James. I still appreciate very much the ten dollars and six cents there that we're just given. I have facts for this game. It's voiced by Bugs is voiced by uh, Fry off of the Future Armors. Um, what else? Other things, too. Ah! No, I've got to wait until it's nearly, nearly exploded before I throw it at him. Wait till it's flashing. Grab it, bugs. No! Oh, come on, that should have hurt him. He was standing right next to it. Right. Mugsy! Gimme bomb. Oh. God. It's difficult. Billy West, yeah. Billy West. Oh? No. More bombs, please. Mugsy. Mugsy, please. Bomb me. Gimme the bomb bombs. Okay. Now I need to wait for the bomb to flash. Okay. There we go. Mugsy bomb! Oh! God, these, these gaps are like only just short enough for bugs to cross. No! Oh! Oh god, he drop a golden carrot every time I hurt him. For God's sake, big dumb idiot. Right, thank you. I'll take it. Hey. 
Sweet. Oh. Okay, well, it hurt me, but I'll take it. Are we getting a double stream this week? I'm a bit behind on the videos. We're not getting a stream this week on Thursday because Ben and I will be away. We'll be out of the office. We're only here for two days this week and you're getting a stream on both days. You're getting this today, you're getting Ben tomorrow, and then we're off to Eggix 1930s. There you go, everyone. That's the answer. I know, because I need to learn magic spells from you in the medieval zone, which we've just unlocked. Let me save your position. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Moyle. Bye. Yeah, goodbye, Moyle. So... <laughs> Louis J. Weber says, Do you want me to stream for you guys on Thursday instead? I'll let myself into the office. X. Yeah. Buip, Ma Mel LeBlanc is the original voice of Bugs Bunny, was allergic to carrots. Oh, I did not know that. Cecil Prompt subscribed via Twitch Prime. Subscribe for seven months. It worked. Turns out I was being a moron. Oh, Cecil Prompt was having issues. Remember to get 100% when, le when learning the spells, Peter. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Perfection! Perfection! Right, how many... How... 90? Oh, that's one of my favourites, though. Or maybe it's not this one. Maybe it's this one. 150? Uh, that's golden carrots. How about this one? Okay, 50. Okay, I think it might be that one. I think it's the bin one. It's one of the best levels in the game. So... I'm going to go back and... Oh, medieval period. I'm going to go right back to the Stone Age. I'm just going to take stock. So. 80. Oh! That just unlocked. Okay. Normally it tells you that you've unlocked stuff. Okay, we've unlocked Wabbit or Duck Season. Cool. There's one clock available. It's basically a little mini game. It's cool. You guys, I bet you guys know this episode from Looney Tunes, right? Wabbit or Duck Season. It's basically this, but with more narrative. So he can't remember if it's. He can't work out what season it is. Daffy's going around, turning them all to Wabbit season. But I want Elmer Fudge to think it's duck season. Can I whack him? I can. No golden yeah. carrots available though. It's so. Wabbit season, duck season, fire. Fire? <laughs> it is. Oh, Jim Corvette? That's a thousand blippity bloops there. Are there any? Has he? Has he done any at all? There is one somewhere. It's okay though, I just have to have more than him. I might even be able to get 100%. That would be good. Uh... Yeah, boy! Okay, let me catch up on, on the things. Oh! Rabbit season. Ah, oh, Daffy. God, this game's ugly sometimes, isn't it? Sometimes it's not, but sometimes it really is. Uh, right. Where is the rabbit hole? The rabbit hole. The duck hole. Stick it right up your duck hole. There we go. Great. Hup. Hup. Perfection! So, a hexagon subscribed. Eight months. Go you. Great. Just perfect. You have completed this level. What's up, Doc? Happy to be here, TP. 
Speaking of Looney Tunes, did you hear the reviving anime tracks? Also, I bought Mikey Bird Seed. <laughs> um, sorry, let me catch. So Jim Corvette cheered, and uh, with a thousand blippity bloops, and it says it's Wabbit or Duck Season Fire. Um, and then loads of people got little rewards, emotes and stuff. So that's cool. Look at these. I can see them all. RPG Epic Sword. RPG Tree Newer. Stuff's happening in chat. A Hexagon subscribed. Thank you very much. Uh, then Spy Hunter donated $5. Thank you very much indeed. It's very kind. And uh, said a, a thing that is no longer there. So I'm going to go and find it in Streamlabs. And then we can then we can crack on with our lives. Uh, hello, stream Streamlabs. Please do, just open the donation history, please. There we go. Spy Hunter, what's up, Doc? Happy to be here, TP. Speaking of Looney Tunes, did you hear they're reviving Animaniacs? Also, mm -hmm. I bought Mikey Bird Seed. Jim Corvette with a subscription there, four months. Thank you, Jim. Very much. Uh, I did not know they were bringing back Animaniacs. I hope... Oh, it's not going to be as good, though, is it? It's just not. They can't... You can't... You're not allowed to... Be that suggestive anymore, are you? Well, not so... I mean, they weren't... Sometimes people say, like, Oh, yeah, Animaniacs was, like, just constantly full of suggestive adult jokes. It wasn't actually, like, non-stop. It was, you know, just... There were plenty of them, but... It wasn't all innuendo, but it was certainly adult humour in the sense that, like, they would make weird, um, sort of satirical statements and things like that. Um, and in that respect, you know, I don't know if, if it'll be as good. I liked all the musical numbers. I hope that it would be the same voice cast. I'm assuming they're all still alive, but, you know, maybe they've been taken from us too soon. I loved Animaniacs. That's another game that I did a review on, like I did this one uh, on my channel, my personal channel. I did a a review for the Animaniacs game pack, uh, which oh man, I loved that game so much. Maybe I should stream it one day, but you have to like run it on a, you have to emulate Windows ninety five or something, and then it's doable though. Rules, boss. Rules, boss. Can you tell us the rules? Stephen Scoots says, TP, I'm glad you and Ben liked the drawing I did yesterday. I appreciate you both. Well, we appreciate you, Stephen. It was a good drawing. We don't get sent as much art nowadays. I guess it helped having Post and Tap when we used to um, sort of showcase it. But that was a really nice little treat to get a, a hand-drawn art. We certainly still get like a, a little bit of digital art, but... You know, that was old school. That was like Blue Peter, which is a reference that is going to be lost on Stephen Scodes, who is not from the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. But in any case, you understand. Like kids, you know, on, on kids TV when they used to like show the drawings that can send it. I'm not saying it was that, that level of quality, but I just mean because it was on physical paper, you know. You kind of, you sort of almost see the effort more physically because you can see each stroke of the pencil here we go 15 clocks available in here reportedly yes she is oh, a rabbit. <laughs> hey uh, what's cooking jaja jaja <laughs> rabbit stew <laughs> Ah, oh, Witch Hazel. Ragnarokka subscribed. Thank you, Ragnarokka. Get ten of these objects to receive a clock symbol. Ugh! Ten! Effort! Okay, I can do ten. 
There's a big sleepy scary man up there. I need to try and... Oh, he heard me straight away. Okay, he's sleeping now. King's carrots. Ah! Oh no, it just regenerates a knight every time. Okay, let me let me do this bit first. Halt in the name of the king. No, don't 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 do that. I think I can make this man tired. There we go. And now I can... Well, actually, I don't want to do that yet. I can, like, go through there, but that's, like, the rest of the level. So I can, like, dig. I can rabbit hole my way through there, see? Uh, but that's not what I want to do right now. Because first, I've dropped some barrels into the water. And I can do this. That's cool, isn't it? In it. Can I jump? Yes, that's a bit scary, but yes, you can. Whoa! You like his bikini? I suppose it is a bit bikinish. Don't think it's intentionally so. I think he's just got a bit of a belly sticking out. Let's not body shame the the hammer man. This is not open. How open it? Oh, through here, I think. Dungeon, is this? Royal Dungeon. Visiting hours, 8 till 5. It's pretty generous visiting hours. Okay. Delicious. Delicious carotten. So I have to, I have to tie this man out. Give him a kickity kick. Preferably near... Okay. Near this railing. Because, as well as getting a golden carrot off him, I can hop in here. Using his belly. His bellies. Swiggity swooty, let's get loony. Yeah, why not? Got a key. Oh, that's still got stuff in it, has it? No, it just does that every time. Okay. That's the one thing about this game. I said last week, sometimes it's just a bit weirdly inconsistent with like how objects behave. and. But it's okay. We'll, we get used to it. Disney will soon realise why Netflix was popular in that everything was in one place. Everyone just go back to pirating. I do wonder this, you know. I certainly don't condone it. But I do wonder whether um, the more companies that bring out their own streaming service like, is actually just going to start levelling the playing field again in a, in a way that like, is just going to make people start... Like, you know, people would, would like, willingly spend like, you know, less than a tenner a month on Netflix. Partly because that might be the only streaming service they use. That's the only one that they have to pay for directly, you know? Like me, for example, that's all I ever pay for. I, I would briefly get Now TV while uh, there's a season of uh, Game of Thrones on. But other than that, just Netflix. But I'm going to have to get Disney Plus because I'm a Star Wars boy. Um, and you know, if, pretty much if anything else comes out after that, I'm going to have to start thinking like, okay, which of these do I actually want? Or which can I not do without? Or I'll have to start pirating stuff, which I would never do, of course, and that's just, that's only a hypothetical option, but, you know. Forgotten Woods. Beware of the witches. No. Oh, there's a golden carrot under there. Uh-oh. Splash. Um... 
Does anyone know if uh, they've announced a release date for... Oh my god damn it. If they've announced a, a date yet for Disney Plus in the UK, because they're releasing it later, aren't they? Or they certainly didn't say when they released... Oh, when they did the American release date, they weren't like... They didn't say that that's when the Brits were getting it. I think it was like a licensing issue. And I really don't want to have to... Like, worry about people doing Mandalorian spoilers, like, this time next month. Isn't it like the... It's like early November it launches. They haven't, peeps, says Louis J. Weber. God damn it. I'm not saying I'm going to pirate the Mandalorian, but I might have to pirate the Mandalorian. I'm not going to. Or am I? Just covering myself. But no, I'm not. But am I? I'm not. I wouldn't do that. It's just not... It's not le I just can't get it. I can't legally acquire it. For an indeterminate amount of time. You know? I don't like that. It's annoying. Ah! Get up! What is it there? there? <laughs> Daffy, you flipping a hole! Right. Now, what you're supposed to do here is bash every tree because they all drop at least one golden carrot. But also, don't let him get you. Uh, no. Daffy, do not. Daffy, don't do it. Daffy, don't do it. Don't do it, Daffs. You won't chase me over here, will you? No. If I, if I sneak, will he still come down? Because I think I need to smack him now and get, like, a... Daffy should be in Dark Souls, yeah. What happens if I sneak over here? Can I just wheel into him? Yes, I can. It's a bit OP, this roll ability. I think... I think that's it. Yeah, we've done it. Okay, so... Is this to the witch woods? Sorcerer's Tower. What are you doing here? Aren't you afraid of the witches? Sorcerer's Tower, that's what we want. Because if we get into the Sorcerer's Tower... Witch had work. Uh, which is just around the corner... Then, uh, Mail is in there, and he can teach us one of our new abilities. Now, here's an interesting thing. Uh, when you get in here, he will only teach you a spell if you do him a favor. And by that, I mean give him a hand job, sexual favors. Uh, and he says, "Sorry, I can't help now. Witch Hazel has stolen my magic cookbook. Bring it back. I'll be glad to help you." Witch Hazel has stolen my magic spell book. Now, when I was very, very young, great. Biff. Oh, let me bounce on. Oh. Have a right good bounce on Merlin's bed. Oh, what's that weird stain? I love how floaty this game is sometimes. In like a really satisfying way. So, he says Witch Hazel has stolen my spell book. Now, on the way in to the tower when I was younger, I'd noticed that if you... Oh, oh, oh no, that's deep. If you walk through... Hello? Hello? If you walk through the flowers, they have a little... Oh, I went the wrong way. There's um, there's a load of flowers that you can walk through. I think they're supposed to be sunflowers, but when you when you hit one, they, like, flop over. And there's, like, maybe a dozen of them in the in the level. I have got all the golden cat. Yeah, okay. So on my way to the Sorcerer's Tower... I had, like, noticed these. 
and saw that when he touched them, they did that. So I became convinced that, like, a hazel was a kind of flower, and he was saying, which hazel has stolen my spellbook, question mark. So I was like, oh yeah, I wonder which one is, I wonder which of these hazels has stolen his, his, uh, his spellbook. So I went through, like, touching every one to try and make it drop a spellbook, and it didn't. I was like, what the hell? What's going on? Of course, which hazel is the witch? <laughs> Her name is Hazel. Named after the witch hazel plant. Um, she also has the best running animation, possibly in all the video gaming. Let's let's see her go. Oh, broomsticks! Here she comes. She's going. Here she comes. Help! Witch hazel. And of course, the best way to take her out. Like that. Oh! She says. She can say it whenever you like her to say it as well if you just give her a. Oh, no, she's. she's... Ja! Did she just say Ja Ja when she hit me? Oh! Give her a. My nan's name is Hazel, and I can confirm she is not a witch. My great-grandmother was born on Halloween. It's her birthday coming up. She's no longer with us. Unsurprisingly, she would have been well over 100 by now. But I knew her when I was a bit younger. Both of my great-grandmas lived for a very long time. I say both. Um, you have four great-grandmas, don't you? Yes. Yes, you do. Two of them did, anyway. One of them lived till 99. Oh, broomsticks. Oh, could watch this every day. There we go. Uh, yeah, she was born on Halloween. I might have told this story on a podcast or something. It's a problem when you've been doing this for three years. You don't know what stories you've told. I think I have told this on, like, Podiots or something. trick if you like yeah all right listen carefully rabbit say ali ali oxen free over this symbol and you'll be able to jump to a higher level say ollie ollie oxen free <laughs> above this symbol okay i will do um so my oh the haunted clock story says tick cartoon no that's probably one of my best stories I was thinking about that the other day because I visited. Um, I went. I went home to see the family this weekend. Just gone, and I was just looking at the clock at one point, thinking, "There's literally no scientific, like, no reasonable scientific explanation for what happened that day. It's just so bizarre, and no one, no one there would have, would have done any. I don't. I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't understand what happened." Uh, I'll tell that story after if people don't know what I'm talking about. But my grandma, who was born on the 31st of October, uh, when I was younger, I sort of thought, oh, maybe she's like, maybe she's a witch. Not in a horrible, bad way. Not like she's an evil witch. But just, I thought maybe she's got like some slightly, you know, special magical witchy powers, Halloween y powers. And. You know, I never, I was never led to believe that she did. Nothing ever happened that I thought, you know, suggested that. Until one day, I said to my grandmother, as in my non-great-grandmother, just my grandma, who was, that was her mum. Uh, I was like, oh yeah, like born on Halloween, I guess, you know, like maybe she's a, maybe she could be a witch. And she said, oh well, when your great-grandma was very, very young, uh, she was at a boarding school. I think it was a boarding school. And they had to go to church 
every Sunday. And, uh... She didn't like going to church, because, you know, lots of kids don't like going to church. And she was sitting there once at church thinking, oh, God, hate this. And so then what she started doing was she stared at the vicar who was standing on the altar. And just in her head, she was just saying, like, you're going to collapse. You're going to collapse. You're going to collapse. You're going to collapse. And then he just passed out, apparently. And, <laughs> and that probably terrified her. But uh, that's a that's a true story that might not be true, but I was told. Did you get the carrot under the waterfall? Genuinely can't remember. Yes, I did. I did. But thank you for the reminder, because I also thought that I didn't for a minute there. From Chatting Witch. I don't know why I'm collecting these carrots. Oh no, I can't do the music. Beaky Buzzard loves groovy tunes. Play one and wake him up. He could help you. No, 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 oh, Beaky Buzzard, anyone know Beaky Buzzard? That's a slightly obscure Looney Tunes character, but that's what he says. He just says, no, 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 I don't wanna, no, no, I don't, no, 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 That's what Beaky says. That was a pretty good impression, actually, I'm quite pleased with that. Can do a really good impression of a character that no one flipping knows. Go me. People are shouting witch in the chat. Yeah, she's she was a witch for sure. No, she's a lovely lady. She uh, she had like new she had new valves put in her heart or something when she was like in her twenties. She had like this really rare issue, and the doctors were saying like. You know, these will serve you for a time, but you won't, you know, you, you, your prospects aren't great in terms of longevity. And she lived till she was like 90 odd. She defied medical science. Or she was a witch, maybe. That, that could be the reason. Okay, so we've got we to gotta race to the top till the thing, before the thing closes. There are weird little dragony, dragony fellas. Shooting fireballs at us. We're gonna make it. Oh! Yes. Stop it, lads. Oh! Whoa! Give it a rest. Oh, satisfying. That's what happens when you suckle at Satan's teat. Yes. Oh no, I've just been... This is not where I want to go. Isn't Beaky the same vulture? Isn't the same as that one vulture from OG Jungle Book? No, I wouldn't have thought so. Although he has kind of a similar... Well, they're based on... Uh, they're supposed to be... I mean, he can't be, can he? Because Jungle Book is Disney. But uh, the vultures from uh, Jungle Book are based on the Beatles. We your friends. Okay, yeah, now actually I do have to go in there. I can't open these things until Beaky Buzzard can take me to the top. I think sheer will and stubbornness keep us alive. Uh beyond when we should have passed away. Medicine is one thing, but when it's an illness with an expe expectation to die and you live well beyond it, yeah, that's that's like people just going, no. She seemed like a kind of stubborn, in a good kind of way, a kind of stubborn lady. Like, she, she, I don't think she would have accepted from a doctor, like, are oh, you going to die, by the way, just so you know. You're going to die soon. She'd be like, no. It's not going to happen. <laughs> I love the animation in this game. It's really well done. Oh! Oh! Yikes! Oh! 
Oh, there's a dragon. No. Got dragged. Oh, no. Oh, this is that button literally just opens and closes it. I thought, like, you pressed it once and then maybe, like, it wouldn't. Oh, yeah, it's a mixture. Whoop. Okay. Sorry, pal, you'd have the fan ability. Okay. Fine. Let's see if I can. Jesus! No! Just, just, stop it! Everyone, please! Leave me be. I've always ha had the sneaking... <laughs> sneaking suspicion that those balls, those bouncing cannonballs, can actually... At the moment that they bounce like, off the wall, they just recalculate their... their journey, their, like, uh, direction to hit you, but that seems like a lot of effort. I don't know if the game would have done that. But I just kind of feel like, even if you're standing well out of what looks like the way it's going to go, they tend to just come towards you anyway. Uh, what we're going to do is, whenever a medieval level comes up, we're going to go straight to it, because... Well, I'm an idiot. Um, because I'm an idiot, that's why. Because, uh... Ah! I thought it was free and safe from him there. Um, because it's the medieval zone where you learn all of the, um... Abilities. So if we want to, like, 100% these levels, some of them are going to have a requirement for Merlin's magical abilities. So we may as well get those learned as soon as possible. Oh my god. Jesus. Uh, some of the levels in this game are longest heckety heck. About 19 minutes until the sexiest of all of the sex numbers. Yeah, that's right. Four. Hello, where am I? What? Oh, just, just take me back. Is that it? I understand. Oh! The one good thing about falling in this lava is it gives you a massive height advantage. I bet there's like a certain amount of death abuse in the speed run of this game. I'm well, not death abuse, but like damage abuse. Where like instead of having to wait for these stupid things, you just fly across like that. I bet they do that. I bet they also roll everywhere because it's faster than walking. So it's probably not the most ear friendly speed run that's out there. It'll just, it'll just be that all the time. Um, what should I go to, I'm going to a Halloween party, um, with Amy, and we're not necessarily going to do a, a couple's, it's a fan, it's obviously a fancy dress party, uh, we're not necessarily going to do a couple's joint costume, but the temptation is there, but we're trying to sort of think of something interesting to do. I do prefer going as something kind of scary than, you know, just going as like a, you know, a Facebook post or something. Or just a random movie character. Like if it's a, if it's, I don't mind if it's a movie character, if it's just a villain of some kind. It doesn't have to be scary, but as long as it's a baddie, 
Um, you go as Ben and Amy go as you. <laughs> okay, yeah. Parker and Lady Penelope from Thunderbirds. What about the nice robots from Detroit? Okay. You have the glasses to do Harry Potter. So how about zombie Harry Potter, corpse bride, Lena Migi minifigure, or a borrower? <laughs> or just the scary version of Wicket, Mr. and Mrs. Blobby, Harry Potter and Voldemort. God, all these ideas. Simon Cowell for both. <laughs> Oh, it's a quick one. <laughs> Clonk. Uh oh. I think this is a boss. Get Amy to be Pennywise and you can be Georgie. Oh, that's great. I like that. <laughs> Hello, Georgie. Do you want a balloon? Oh, in the name of the king. Oh. They have a joint health bar, these fellas. Oh, don't they? <laughs> what? He got tired, I kicked him. Ouch. They have to both be tired. Yeah, I think they do. I think I can only hit them when they're both tired, which is a bit weird. Okay, here we go. Okay, that one's now down. Ah! Oh my Christ! It's horrible. Key. Key. Clock. Right, now we can go and spend our 99 carrots. On a golden one. In one of the warp zones. Yeah. Fantastic. Good. But you left some stuff behind you. We got a pirate one when Sam met Bunny. We got a Mars one. Dimension X, it's not Mars. Let me save your position. Yes, Mile. Mile. We've got 99 carrots, but a gold ain't one. You're right. Now it is. Hell yeah. Okay, what do I need? 73. Okay, well, that's a way off. 65. Okay. I don't like the fact that I'm... It's sort of artificial backtracking, isn't it? Like, I'm being forced to go to levels... Now, knowing that there's like hidden stuff in them. Yes, Marvin, do Marvin, says Empyrean7. You're a Marvin fan. Marvin is the best Martian. I, you know, personally, Marvin the Martian is probably my least favorite Looney Tunes character of all time. I'm really going against the audience today, aren't I? Um, we'll go do Marvin, though. I don't mind doing Marvin. I mean, to his levels. Um, off we go. I 
his warp area that is quite good there, like his hub. Because uh, you, you teleport to places. Or the final level, you actually climb into this rocket ship and blast off into this into space. It's a nice idea. Here we go. Eleven minutes until the bugs porking witch hazel number my milk duds. I guess he's got a pretty good voice, you have to admit. This hub is awfully similar to the space level of Sheep Raider, is it indeed? <laughs> Empyrean 7 just throwing in the booth love emotes the moment that Marvin arrives. Exit. Uh, what? Hello? O okay. Bizarre. Oh, what? Can I just jump down here? Maybe? Strange. Switching on some, some more lift, little lift platforms or something, I guess. Whoa. Bit frightening. Oh, I guess this is how I was supposed to get down here in the first place, but I just jumped instead. Yeah. That's fine. I'm a maverick. I was just about to say, I hope I don't get hit by this because it's got a really annoying animation. Where you just get sort of frozen. Oops, I've messed up my chat. It's not updating. There we go. Hello, game? There we go. The Planet X file is a great level name. Yeah, it is. This, uh, this place is called Dimension X. There is a really good level in this uh, in this area later on. To explain Uranus' weird orbit, Plant X was hypothesized to exist just as planet. Vulcan to explain Mercury's odd orbit. Both were confirmed not to exist. That's my fact. Yeah, uh, that didn't actually come up in the chat, I don't think, so I'm going to have to quickly just pull it up to read it. But yes, I got the gist. Planet X and stuff. Um... Beweep. To explain Uranus's weird orbit, Planet X was hypothesized to exist. Just as Planet Vulcan, to explain Mercury's odd orbit, both were confirmed not to exist. That is my fact. I don't think I've heard of Planet Vulcan, admittedly. I have heard of Planet X. Um, yeah, it was like theorized that... Yeah, there's like a lot. Oh, sorry, there's a lot to talk about here. There's like these weird sort of Gonzo-looking Martians uh, around, and I had to make that. Oh no! Please don't, don't do it. Or oh, invincibility from the clock. He chucks you in the trash. Otherwise, I think down down that hole. Yeah, I had to make the robot shoot shoot the Martian so that he would get out of the way. Uh oh. Oh, God, I don't know where I'm going now. Yes, this way.
I don't know if I, I almost want to jump off the edge and just go back and just check the rest of the area before I grab the checkpoint. I think I will do that. Because I think it keeps... It remembers that I, like, got those golden carrots and stuff. So, that was that. Over there was... Is that just where I came from before? Or... I think it is. I'll just double check. It's hard to keep track in this world. Oh, wait, no. So that's got a robot on it. So this is where I came from before. Yeah, okay. So I came up here. I hit the checkpoint. I came along here. I might actually see if there's anything down the garbage chute that he chucks you through. It might just take us back to... Like this. Oh, it's a long way. Oh, my... Cr ah! And it drops you on a checkpoint as well. That's really crappy. God, that's terrible. I really... Oh, I've got to make sure I don't get hit by that guy. I thought it might at least just take us to a new platform or something with an actual... Golden carrot on it or something. I guess not! Robot... Robot, Robot James, I just said that. <laughs> Robert James talking about baby... Lo baby Looney Tunes. Are you guys... Oh, yeah. Is that different to... Is that different to Tiny Tunes? Tiny Tunes was great. We're tiny, we're toony, we're all a little loony, and in this cartoony, we're invading your TV. We're comic dispensers, we crap to pull the sensors. Kick out a dose of comedy. So, at uh, 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 Acme University, we earned our toon degree. Her teaching staff's been good and laughed since 1933. Good show. Babs and Buster Bunny, no relation. Don't do it. Don't do it. Shoot these guys. No. Ah. No bugs. Okay, at least the Martians are dead, I think. I don't remember the name, but it has the small dog. Ti what? Uh, at the same time as Tiny Toons. Uh, I don't know. The newer Scooby-Doo. With the small... What? With Scrappy-Doo in it. The small dog. Or is it a different dog entirely? It wasn't one of the Doo family. <laughs> Oh. Let me throw. It's kind of irrelevant how much that thing weighs. It's kind of more down to the pressure that the arm is putting, really. Uh, but sure. Two tons. Two tons of pressure, maybe. Per square. Uh, unit. Unit distance. Unit. Uh, t unit. T t area. Because... Uh. Oh, Christ alive. No, wait. That one. <laughs> Anyone ever watch, um, talking of... Looney Tunes spin-offs. And then watch Sylvester and Tweety Mysteries. That was a weird one. It was like Granny. The old Granny would go with Sylvester and Tweety Pie. To like a haunted house or whatever. And solve... Oh my Christ. It wasn't even that good. It was just like... I quite liked the theme tune. It's a faster and tweedy mysteries. No! No!
Ah! Let me out! Ah! That's brutal. Oh my god. The theme tune was an absolute bang, that says Imperium 7. Yes, it was. Tweety Bird can get in the bin. It was like Miss Marple. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like Miss Marple. Ooh! So that's Darren Tweedy mysteries. Give it up, Robo boy, ro ro Robo fella, or girl. It's one minute until the, one of the sexier numbers. No! God, this game is hard. The camera doesn't really do you many favors, I have to say. Yeah. It's 2019 and I still can't resub from my phone. Take my blips instead, please. Thank you. Can't reset from your face. Sorry, I'm gonna have to pay attention because they're not just disappearing when I jump off them. They they disappear anyway. So I have, I'm on a timer here. But I will read. I'll probably read that in a second. Okay. Blippity 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 blips from Jamasaurus Wrecked for 20 blips there. Thank you very much. It's 2019 and I still can't resub from my phone, question mark. Take my blips instead, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Shared your rewards with six others in the chat. That's nice. And then we've got all those 420 emojis because it's 420, everyone. Go and, go and smoke a smoky thing. No, don't do that. It's bad for you. Yeah. Yeah. it with bird seed. With bird seed. That's 300 blips there from Quiet Insane. Blazing it with bird seeds. Thank you very much, Quiet Insane. You're quiet and you're insane. But we love you for it. Well, that's what we want. Should have come this way before. Ugh. Whoa. Okay, I think we're sort of, kind of, sort of done. Great. Are we? Maybe? I don't know. I don't... In? What? What's going on? I don't like it. There's too much. Right, what? what is up here? I've done this one. It's another teleporter. Where does it go? Does it say in? Does it say out? It says out. If you go through the in one, does it bring you to the out one? What? What? How? How? How does it work? Oops. Does this door open at all? Yes, it just kicks open. Okay, let me try going through in, because that door looks like it's the rest of the level. If this just teleports me across the... Sh briefly across the level to the out door, I'll be a bit disappointed. I'll, I'll checkpoint first, that's a good idea. Beams. Yes, of course! No! Wait, no! It didn't do that. <laughs> it's not an easy to control game, I have to say. If 
Right, so they're one way. So yeah, that's why it's saying in and out, because they're one way. Which means when I go through this one, which we'll say in. Great. We're going to come out on the out. Bling. Oh, hello game. Oh, oh, that was weird. It didn't know where I was. Cool, so now we go through the door. There's another robot, which is very, very scary because he might hurt me. He might throw me in a hole hole. I'm gonna not look at him in the hopes that he won't be activated until... I might even be able to sneak. Hey! Robots well known for being foiled by people sneaking on their tippy toes. Super upper, does that say? I could do with one of those. Right. Robot man. Shoot. Okay, that's probably enough. Oh! No! Don't do it! Oh! Oh, he's so scary! I need to put my serious face on here. I'm going to assume I don't have to kill both of those Martians for a golden carrot. I might be wrong, but we'll see. Space Base Area 4. Uh, how do I... Uh, like that. That's how. Ooh. Oh my god, what is this now? God, it's so daunting. There's just so much to do. What is... Is this glass? It's a hole. It's a big old hole. Fantastic. Samuel DeBarber has entered the chat. Welcome, Sam. I can make that, can't I? Just Jesus Christ. Oh, there's a, <laughs> there's a walkway down here. A lot of golden carrots in this level. How many have I got total? 127. There was a medieval level that unlocks with 250. That seems like a lot. What? Yeah. Rampant Robert tuned in and here big old hope. That's 400 blips there from Samuel DeBarber. Thank you very much for immediately coming in and dropping some blips down. Rampant Rabbit tuned in and here big old hope. What's big old Oh. It's big old hope. It's lost on me. Oh god, every time. No. Bugs, please. I just roll under it. It's easier. It's way easier. A big old hole. Yeah, there's a big old hole. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. The, there's still a big old hole, so I'm gonna go down here. And I'm gonna... Is that gonna stay on until I switch it off? Yes, it is. Okay. That's fine. We will hop up these little saucers. Press that. That's turning on the hole. On a timer. Of course it is. Why would it be simple? Oh, no, quick. No, bugs. Oh, I made it. I don't have much health left. I can take like two hits. Let's eat these carotons. Checkpoint first. Uh, 
Um, I feel like if I press this, it's going to turn off. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's a very frightening game, this. Doing a lot of near-death near experiences. Yikes. Luigi ever says to bewilderment, stop hitting on me and just take me out for a drink. Is, is, is love blossoming in the chat? Oh my god, there's a big eye face! I'm being blown off by an eye, a one-eyed, one-eyed flesh. Some something. What? Oh, some sort of hazmat suit has arrived. East Burius is is a founder. I don't know what that means, but you're a founder. Is that to do with the the length of? I mean, it says eight month subscriber. Does that mean you've been around since the beginning, or something? I don't understand what that means. Help, help, Alan. Please add details. Okay, so we've turned we've turned the laser off now. Is that what's happened? I'm not paying attention. Oh, uh, yeah. Press the button. The first ten subs get one. Oh, wow. Have you always had that, though, by your name? I don't remember seeing that before. Oh! We made it. Oh! Checkpoint. Now let's go down through. Can you see why I wasn't excited to come to the Martian level now? It's just too scary. There's too many obstacles. Mostly electric ones and bad robots who throw you all the way down to the start of the level. Where there's a checkpoint. Terrible. Oh my Christ. It doesn't help. I mean, no, I'm not playing it the way I should, am I? I'm, I'm running around, trying to get through it as fast as possible. It's not the way to play. Is there infinite lives in this level? Why, why, why am I just being respawned constantly? I think it's just infinite lives, which, thank God. Oh! No! The camera! We must be nearly done, please. Please, God. Clang! What is this now? Wow! You can use this remote console to control the robot. Oh no, I hate this bit. I thought this was a different level. This is like the worst, but it seems like a really cool thing. And it is just terrible. Because you've got like a gun. And you sort of flip around, but... Oh, alright, Jesus. But there's like these turret things that... Like these, look at this thing. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. My arms come off. Greetings to TP and Clan Hope. Everyone's had or is having a pleasant day. Thank you, sl Cyber Slum. For the five dollars. Hope you're having a pleasant day too. So you can't strafe in this. So you're up against projectile based enemies with, without the ability to strafe. You can only really go forwards or backwards. It's just what you want, isn't it, really? When dealing with projectiles coming straight at you. Oh, 
We'll get there. Oh, where did that come from? Oh, he's shooting me from way across the map. Cheeky little beggar. Oh my Christ! It's the worst. I almost want to cheat your Austin it just just so I have to just for the reset time. I won't. Because I managed to get by so far without cheating, but it's just that kind of annoying, inconvenient quality of life thing, isn't it? Is this thing going to show me it's, it's arse or not? Do I have to shoot it? Yes, I do. God. Whew. We made it. Empyrean 7 feels responsible for my anguish. So you should. Right. Thank God. Oh, good. We've got to come back here, have we? Oh, no. Thank God we do not have to come back here because I happen to have this ability. Oh, the early oxen free what? Oh, up there. Okay, hang on a minute. <laughs> I sound really mad, don't I? I am. Livid. Oh. Clock. I really, 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 really like you. And I hope that we've 100% uh, in this level when we escape. Because I don't want to come back. Ever. Again. <laughs> I'm really glad this game just saves you progress. Like everything you collect is already is still collected when you respawn. That's always a good thing. Whew. Okay. Hop. Really? Really, game? Right, I'll aim for the sticky out bits then. Oh! Watch this, right? You aim your camera where you want to be jumping. You press R1. It just moves the camera by itself. Which is really... That's exactly what you need when you're trying to perfectly aim a jump. 11 clocks. So that doesn't seem like a number of clock... Oh, we're not even done yet. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, now I've got to kill Marvin. With his space modulator. Ah! Oh! oh my god, every time. Oh, you can't jump over that, you have to duck. Now I understand. Any... What? Oh! Right, so he overloaded it, did he? And now I've got to give him a... A little bash on the bottom. For God's sake! I'm sure that... I mean, that was, that was a bad one, but, like, I'm sure the hit detection on that is... For God's sake. Jesus. Oh, now the floor is on fire. What is happening?
You're very annoying. Ah! No! The stupid thing about the crouch button is that when you try and move when you're crouched, it gets up and tiptoes. And I keep forgetting that because most games don't do that. You try and move when you're crouched, you crawl, crouched, don't you? Aha! Uh -huh. This is very annoying. I can't really do it. That was a bit Mr. Bean. Oh, Teddy. Teddy. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, no. Where are you going? Where are you... Oh, he's gone. Okay. Well, it looks like 15 clocks total, which sounds like I've got all the clocks at least from this level. I'm hoping. Oh, wait, no. What? Was that... Was that my 12th or 13th? I'm not sure if it's showing... In. Is that the end? No? <laughs> How can it not mean the end? Yes. Don't say I left some stuff behind me. Great. Just perfect. You have completed this level. Yes, Marvin. Mer Mer Merlin. Yes! And we've unlocked objects in the mirror closer than they appear. Let me save your position. The best of levels. Yes, save. Thanks, Moyle. Bye. Yeah, goodbye, Moyle. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for bearing with me through Chinese water torture, the game. It's time now to take the time machine to travel to the 1930s and to enjoy A very silly, but very well made for the time, chase level. With a whole load of cars and things driving around, around you. The first bit of this level, way back before the PlayStation 2 had been invented, kind of gave me the feeling that GTA 3 eventually gave me when I realised, oh wait, no, there can be actual real open world streets Look, a witness get that stupid rabbit no problem boss it's not gta it's not open world but it's driving with in in a world that felt alive wah see you feel it oh i've got to start again because i just i'm going to crash the car oh the noise Sorry, I just need to crash it, because I missed a golden carrot. Meow. Rocky, stop. Uh, down here, is it? Yes, golden carrot. Oh, choppy chops! How did that happen? Oh, no. What's happening? Why has the camera gone all weird? Okay, it came back. I need to crash the car again. Okay. It's 
good level there. Oops, whoops. Oh, I didn't like that bit. I'm going to try and... I think it just needs a bit of a... Oh. A bit of a refresh. No? Yes? No? Okay. It feels better now. Normally it runs fine on a PlayStation, but maybe it's something about the emulator. And then you fly into the factory and, and get all smashed up, and you come out on a motorbike. Oh, and then you miss a golden carrot and you're going to fall down the hole. It's good though. That was a regular carrot, wasn't it, I think. I used to play this level all the time when I was younger. I loved it so much. Oh, there they are. Now they're after me. Get the clock. Does this level need Cheater Austin, says Steven Scoots. I mean, I can just kind of drive into a wall and it resets me to the next area, so. Look. Now we're all on the same bike. How comical. And now I'm on a unicycle. Ah! Enough with the bombs, Rocky. The Acme Railroad train. Nah. Oh. I was following the carrots. They lied to me. Lie carrots. This echoes the minecart level from Harry Potter. It does. It does a bit, but a bit more varied. Oh, there's a golden carrot I missed. Yeah, Bob, Bobby Moore is straight in the chat saying, Pete, you missed a golden carrot. Oh. Oh, I've had that before. That's a bit of a glitch there. There's a little part of that ramp that just kills you. Now it's fine. Never mind. Yeah, I, I saw your I saw your assistance there in the chat. Thanks. Thanks for the assist. Rocky, stop! Stop it! Stop it now! Stop it immediately! Stop every every single one! Why does it do that sometimes? It's just a, there's literally just a glitch. That ramp is not not very good. I always try and just get up there, but you can't. There are bonus carrots hidden in this mine, Mr. Potter. There'll be a special prize for you if you get collect them all on your journey. Oh, Mr. Potter, there are many obstacles in these mines. You just watch out for them if you want to hold on to your coins. Oh. Nailed it. Into the barn. What do you think we're coming out on now? A sheep! Ha ha ha! Bounce on the piggies. Oh, it's good, isn't it? It's very well done, this level. It's so silly and... Fun and silly. Right. Oh, oh no. I'm liking this game more and more. Oh, I hope I can. Oh no, I can't fail it. There was no fail state at the end there. I missed the final golden carrot. God damn it. Lobrovich, 300 blips there. Yeah. Since I am probably on an airplane during Ben's stream tomorrow, oh, I'll just throw my weekly flips at UTP Moggy Dab. Really looking Maybe forward to EGX. Be... I just hope that you didn't trick us the whole time and you were in fact Sir Gross Moggy Tense. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it's going to be great, Lobrovic. Can't wait to can't wait to do it. To see to see everyone there. I mean, you know, I'm not actually as small as people think in real life. It's because I work... It started when I used to work 
with Ben and Adam Blompier and would sometimes appear in videos standing between them. Those boys are both over six feet tall, so I would look relatively short. Uh, Robert James also uh, threw in some more blips there, 400, and said, I'm liking this game more and more. Glad to hear it. I'll save the game. It's a bit annoying knowing that we left one gold. Well, we'll go for it again, shall we? What, what we? What time are we on? Yeah, we've only got ten minutes left anyway. So, what I'll do is I will do just a safety cheater Austin when we enter that final area with the pig, or with the sheep and the pig, because I don't want to list. I don't want to miss that final golden carrot again. All the orange carrots have uh, respawned, which is good. The, uh, ooh. I don't know if it's either because this is the, an emulated version or if it's because this is, um, oh. Or if it's because uh, it's the American version and there's something different about that build. But this game runs faster than I'm used to. So, like, right at the start there, when we're going, we have to squeeze through that alleyway. Oh! And Rocky is shooting at us. He normally gets three little sprays of bullets on the PAL PS1 version that I am used to. And, like, the cutscenes play out, like, the dialogue is delivered just slightly quicker. So, I think there are some, actually, like, genuinely some slight gameplay differences in, uh what I'm playing here, but compared to what I'm used to. But it's all good. And there was that weird random section where it doesn't work as well. Wow, wow. Yeah. You're welcome, quite insane. Oh, thank you very much. 300 more blips there. You need cheering up. Sorry to hear that. I don't know if you said so in the chat earlier or what, but uh, sometimes I've, I've missed chat today. Ah, oh, come on! I hate this bit. This is the worst one of the of the four. One day I will get up that bridge. A boundary break. Hey guys, welcome to Boundary Break, the show where we t basically take the camera anywhere we want and try and find new secrets and hidden discoveries in some of our favorite games. Welcome to my tutorial page. Tutorial. Oh. Right. Let's do a safety save. Just in case. I'm going to try and do it legit. I'm going to try. It's just a time saving measure. So it was kind of around this corner, wasn't it? Or around, around one of the corners. I'll just take the hits. I'll drive through yeah. these, these gates. Blips for all. Always a delight to be here with the walrus clan. Here it is. Got it. Just don't die now. Here we go. Yeah. Bewilderments. 200 blips there. It says, blips for all. Always a delight to be here with the walrus clan. As read by Robot Lady. Just perfect. You have completed this level. Thanks, Moyle. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Goodbye, Moyle. Goodbye, Moyle. Yeah. Happy mm. I got to catch some of this. Back to work now, sipping on hot chocolate because I am Oof. sickly and only have to pretend to be an adult. Many thanks, Tiny Peter. Chat, I love you 3000. Thanks for being with us, Samuel de Barber. Nice to have you. Great to have you, and uh, get well soon, man. Sorry to hear you're feeling poorly. She says you were very poor. You did very poorly. 
Six out of oh, I left some left some golden carrots in the big banquet drawer. I'm trying to think what levels are unlocked now that we've not just enough time for another Marvin. No. I mean maybe, but no. Quite insane. I hope you have fun at EGX TP. Thank you, quite insane. Sure I will. 80. Right, so that's 100 percent Yeah. That's 100 percent Still not got the carrot, the golden carrot from this one. That is 100 percent That's fine. I'm glad there's no um loading screen from the from the time when you go from one to the other, that's really good. Makes it really convenient just to like quickly check like what's going on. Right, 250. Sixty-five. I keep forgetting how many I've got. Fifty-eight, okay. This seventy-three. We know we left some stuff here, but we didn't we don't have the right spell, which we can't get until we go to these levels, so that is all irrelevant. I think I've got a pirate years one to do. I think we unlocked a new... Yeah, it was um, when Sam met Bunny, wasn't it? 190. Oh, we can ollie ollie oxen free up here as well. Ollie ollie oxen free. forgot about that. So in there, there is a rabbit hole, I think. Um, I don't know if it's always open, if you just need the... Oh, you do, yeah. So we've got the red, follow the red pirate road. Oh, that's, I think that's a relatively short one as well, maybe, no. Okay, we'll do this, this is a boss one. Oh, this is good actually. Some interesting, some like fun mechanics in this that kind of marry quite well into Looney Tunes as well. So not only is it just a good boss fight in general. Come back here, you mean you mutineering rabbit. But it, it kind of feels very Looney Tunesy as well. It's not just good game mechanics. It's like... So he's firing cannons at us. And we catch them in our... Oh! Oh, I died instantly. I think I was on low on health. And then you fire him back at him. That's a kind of Looney Tunesy thing, isn't it? You can imagine this happening in... It probably did happen in a... In an episode that was called when Sam met Bunny, I, I suppose. And then, this as well. He blows stuff at us. And we've got some, like, little... Bellows. And we send them back. It kind of also feels a bit loony. They do a lot of blowing on stuff in the... Sorry, hello? They do a lot of blowing on stuff in Looney Tunes. Like, they try and blow out TNT and stuff. It's just kind of silly. Oh! No, Sam, don't. Yes. No? Yes. Good. Oh no, it changes. Right. Okay, we only got one more cannonball to fire and then he's dead, I think. I think the trick is actually to let them come quite close, because then you can get a lot off on them and they go really fast. There you go, like that. Golden carrot. Sorted. Great. Whoop. Here we go. Catherine Expert says, I have a memory of Sam being a cowboy. I was very young. No, he was a cowboy. Um, that's the thing with, uh... Good, but you left some stuff behind you. 
What do you mean? Let me save your position. Yeah. Here I don't leave stuff and behind me. Oh, thank you, Cecil Prompts, for 300 blips there. Oh, there's a golden carrot. Do you have to, like, get a perfect or something? Do you have to not take any hits? Possibly. Um... Yeah, like, uh, the good thing about Looney Tunes characters is, like, a lot of them were very versatile. So, yeah, Sam would sometimes be a pirate. He would sometimes be a... Cowboy. Got my game face on. I want to try and get perfect on this. I don't know if that's a thing, though. If you have to, like, get perfect on these, uh... I guess you just have to make sure you don't take any hits. Oops. Are just cowboys on water, says Lobrovich. That's God, that's one of the wisest things I've ever heard in my life. That needs to be written in some like sort of handwritten font on top of a really pretty sunset image and then posted on Facebook so your nan can, uh, can share it with Jim and uh, Gladys from the luncheon club. Oh! Oh no. <laughs> Coco Davison put, ha ha ha, what you buying, stranger? Comparing his, uh, his laugh in the lower decks with uh, the Resi 4 merchant, which he is. That is very, very similar. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Just, Just perfect. perfect. You, you have completed, completed this level. level. Position. You can t do whatever you like to my position, Merlin. Thanks, Moyle. Bye. 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 Yeah, goodbye, Moyle. That's it, everyone. That's the end of the stream. It's 17.02. We timed that pretty well. Um, so, up next, we'll be playing... <laughs> so we've done Hey, What's Up, Doc. What you've done with Sam, that right? We'll be doing the Red Pirate Road next, I suspect. Which oh, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a one. Surprisingly few clocks, and is it the one I'm thinking of? I'll do my save state here, so we can resume next week. Let me just check. It's the one where at the start he stamps on the pegs and gets in the basically into the skull that we were just in now, right? Yeah. The music's great in this game. Really good. There we go, yeah. we got to follow him in next time. So, Louis Joe Ever says, another 10 out of 10 stream. Would watch again. <laughs> Enjoy EGX, and I'm sorry I can't be there. Big love, Peter Aust Austrian. Much love, chat. You're the best. It has been fun. Thank you, everyone, for being with me. Where is the button for full screen? There it is. That's the one for full screen. We are now full screen because I pressed the button. I had a good time. It's been a good stream. I'm enjoying this game. It was a really good... It was a good, uh, good second choice by the poll. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Tired. Tired boy. Sorry, I made myself laugh with that noise. That was a really strange... <laughs> it's a weird thing. 
Uh, right, that's the end. Come and see us at EGX if you can. And um, if not, Ben's streaming tomorrow. We're not streaming on Thursday this week because we're away at EGX. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Goodbye, everyone. I love you all. Thank you to Robert James, Jim Corvette, Samuel DeBarber for your blips. I can see you all in the top there. And everyone else who donated and subscribed and blipped today. You're, you're lovely. You're great. Thank you, everybody. Bye.